Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube lecture for the differences on types of crimes. This is just going to take me about uh, five, six minutes, but what I want to do real quick is run through the different types of crimes uh, that we have in the U.S. legal system. We're going to differentiate between um, legal classifications of crimes uh, and kind of intent of crimes. So let's start off with the difference between uh, felonies and misdemeanors, okay? Misdemeanors are usually considered smaller crimes, minor crimes, petty theft, um, crimes that are punishable by usually less than one year in prison. Usually if you commit a misdemeanor, especially if it's your first time, if you're a first time offender, you're gonna get not jail time, but a fine, um, perhaps some probation, uh, community service, things such as that. Um, a felony is considered a more uh, severe crime. It's punishable by more than one year in prison. Um, these are crimes that oftentimes involve uh, things like violence. Um, they can be things where you steal a large sum of money as opposed to a very small sum of money. So, for example, if you shoplift you know, a pair of shoes from a store, that's going to be a misdemeanor. If you rob a bank, that's going to be a felony. Okay, so you want to make sure you understand the difference between those two things, felonies and misdemeanors. Okay, the next distinction I want you to be able to make is between violent and nonviolent crimes. Okay, nonviolent crimes are when you commit a crime that does not physically harm or physically th or threaten phys physical harm against another person. Okay, so for example, again, if you were shoplifting, if you um, broke into a house, if you vandalized something, if you committed a check fraud, any of these things, these are nonviolent crimes. Nonviolent crimes, uh, even like possession of drugs or, or alcohol underage are considered nonviolent crimes. Nonviolent crimes are usually punished uh, a little less severely than violent crimes. Now, violent crimes sound pretty easy, right? You do physical harm or violence to somebody else. However, when you talk about violent crimes, violent crimes can also include the threat of physical harm, okay? So, for example, you don't actually have to physically hurt someone. If you threaten to kill someone or if you threaten someone's safety or you make them feel at risk uh, for their own physical well-being, that fits into that violent crime category. Violent crimes are going to be punished in a much more uh, severe fashion. Um, the last distinction I want you to be able to make is whether a crime is blue collar or white collar. And this is the only one that's a little bit hard to understand, okay? Um, white collar crimes are usually crimes that uh, occur using some type of paperwork, financial, or electronic means, okay? So someone who commits tax fraud, someone who embezzles money, someone who has a, you know, an illegal Ponzi scheme. These would all be considered white collar crimes. Um, sometimes con artists who con, you know, rich old ladies out of money. This would be considered a white collar crime. Whereas a blue collar crime usually means you're getting your hands dirty. You're committing some type of action where you, um, you know, whether it's a, some type of physical attack on someone, whether you're stealing something in regards to actually breaking into a place and stealing something, um, you know, anything where you have to use your hands and, and get your hands dirty. Hey buddy, thank you very much. That's awesome. I already did this, I appreciate it. Um, so, uh, so any type of a uh, blue collar crime, okay, th there's actually an expression, blue collar crime, you have to take a shower afterwards, white collar crime, you have to take a shower beforehand because you want to be cleaned up because you're doing something that looks legitimate. Blue collar crime is usually not at all considered legitimate, whether it's dealing drugs or breaking and entering or robbing a bank, stealing a car, killing somebody, uh, committing assault, whatever the case may be, these are all blue collar crimes. Okay, so. Um, that's a very quick rundown of the different types of crimes. So remember, you want to know felony versus misdemeanor. What's the difference? Violent versus nonviolent. What's the difference? And blue collar versus white collar. What's the difference? Um, these will help you uh, a good bit when you're looking at a crime. You're going to have to be able to look at a crime and say, hey, this crime, was it felony? Was it a misdemeanor? Was it blue collar? Was it white collar? Was it violent? Was it nonviolent? And uh, hopefully uh, next time we uh, have a little Zoom conference, maybe we can run through some of those so you can understand um, some specific examples. Um, that's about it. Um, here's the plan for the rest of the week. If you're watching this today, this should be Wednesday. There's some articles posted with this video as well. They're not about blue and white color crime. Uh, they're actually about drinking and uh, levels of deviance with drinking. So I want you to read those. And then on Friday, we are gonna do another Zoom session where we have a class discussion about the articles that are being posted today and about some of this uh, types of crime stuff. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your, let's see, this will be posted on Wednesday. So enjoy your Wednesday, enjoy your Thursday, 
and we will see you on Friday. So for myself and Ms. Merlin, we hope you have a great day. Have a good one.